hey everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to talk about a stream so what is a stream a stream is collection of memory exists between your device and your program okay uh, so basically it is chunk of memory exist between your program and your device in case of input device it is known as input stream in case of output device it is known as output stream and stream facilitates smoothness between your program and your device okay <coughs> let me give an example uh, suppose you want to print something to console so what cpu does cpu will send this data that you want to print at a speed of 10 mbps but uh, your device will accept receive it at uh, 1 mbps what will happen then your data will be lost okay 90 percent of your data will be lost and this is one reason why stream is used in uh, programming language okay so let's see stream working of stream so uh, in to, uh, uh, in this video i'm going to talk about output stream okay so this is your program this is your output buffer or output stream and this is your output device okay so i want to print my name to output device okay so my name is krishna so krishna will uh, go to krishna will go to uh, here output device at okay and from output device it will go to output uh, sorry from output uh, stream it will go to output device okay uh, but again uh, throwing uh, throwing data from output stream to your output device is known as flus okay flus remember this word flus okay again i want to print india my name of my country okay so india will go from here uh, from your program to your output stream okay and here i want to flush my data i want to flush my output buffer then krishna and india will go to again output device okay so there are two rule actually in c++ there are two rule of uh, two rule of uh, flush okay so by default before every input your data will be flushed your output buffer will be flushed okay and second rule is after the execution of your program your output buffer will be flushed okay and actually uh, actually you can explicitly flush your output buffer by using some function some operator okay so let's see how stream works in uh, programming and we'll talk about uh, explicit plus and auto plus uh, okay so there are two file here first one is main.cpp file and second one is input.txt file uh, i want to use this file as a standard input file so i can use this file uh, i can use fre open function in case you don't know about fre open then you can watch my my last video and then you can understand what is fre open and how to use this file as a standard input file okay so i want to print krishna and then india okay so uh, do you remember i've told you plus occurs um, before every uh, input and after execution of your program plus occurs okay so let's see so what i'm trying to do, firstly let take input so krishna okay so here uh, you are receiving krishna in a and you want to print a uh, actually i want to print a okay let's compile the program so krishna has been printed here okay so do you remember i've told you flush occurs after execution of your program and uh, before every input flush occurs so let's see 
whether this line is valid or not so i want to pass this program for 5 second here to check uh, whether a flush occurs after execution of program or not okay you can see nothing has been printed yet and after 5 second krishna has been printed uh you can see you can see here here a actually krishna here at this position krishna is in output stream but it has not been flushed yet okay at this position krishna has not been flushed yet and flush occurs after execu execution of your program okay until or unless explicitly if you flush uh, explicit, uh, explicitly flush occurs after execution of your program okay that's why krishna uh, you can actually you can say krishna after execution of your program okay now let's say some more interesting thing so i want to take input again and this time india will come here in a yes now let's see you can see krishna has been printed immediately why because before every input your output buffer will be flushed okay that's why a has been flushed before this okay a has been flushed before this and let print a again krishna and after 5 second india india so you can see here actually uh, here at this position krishna has been printed but it has a, a, uh, at this location a, a krishna has been flushed and after uh, after uh, here after uh, after he okay a and at, at this position you are again uh, sending a to your output buffer but this time your buffer will be flushed after execution of your program okay because uh, there is no uh, there is no any scene here okay after this actually that's why uh, it will be flushed after ex execution of your program okay so this was all about output stream in next video i'll talk about uh, input stream and that video will be really important so if you have not subscribed my channel yet please consider subscribing the channel one thing i forgot actually at any position you can flush your output stream by using flush operator so here you want to flush your data you can use flush or you can use angle basically angle puts a line changing character and at ending of your output stream you can use flush so Uh, now let's compile the program here you can see krishna immediately and after 5 second india at this position you can explicitly flush krishna india immediately okay so at any location if you want to flush your output buffer then you can use flush or you can use endl okay so uh, actually this is also known as explicit flush okay this is also known as explicit flush so mm, so this was all about uh, output stream thanks